Now this chord progression holds a bunch of beautiful sounding chords. We are in the key of D minor, so we're going to be playing the D minor chord, which is the chord 1. The C major chord, which is the chord 7. The B flat major chord, which is the chord 6. We usually play like this with 1, 3, 3, 3, and 1. However, with the finger picking technique, we can make it easier to play. We can get rid of the D string and just play 1, 3, 3, and 1. And you're obviously going to pluck the A, G, B, and E string. Now, the last chord is the chord 5, which is supposed to be a minor chord. However, we're going to change this with a dominant major chord. So the chord 5 will be an A major chord. And we're also going to play a variation of this chord, which is going to be um, played with the same shape, just one fret up. Now, this variation is going to add so much, you know, Spanish flavor uh, to the chord progression. But what is this chord? It's definitely a B flat major chord. With the E string open, it becomes a B flat major sharp 11 chord. And with the A string open, it's going to be the same chord with the A on the bass. So a B flat, a B flat sharp 11 with the A on the bass, slash A, it's a slashed chord. So the very first step, just familiarize yourself with the chords. Just strum them, or you can just play them with a simple finger picking pattern. Now with the finger start technique, we can add um, a lovely rhythm to the chords. And you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to play all the time. In fact, we can keep the finger picking pattern simple and let the chords ring out beautifully like this. Of course, you can change the finger picking pattern all the time. Now, the one I was using right now is more or less always the same, which is this one. So I have the index always on the G string, middle on the B string, and ring on the E string. And the thumb is on the bass note, depending on which chord I'm playing. And the pattern is thumb, index, middle, index, ring. Then I go back to the index, middle, and index. So we're playing eight notes. Now after these uh, eight notes, we can really decide to, you know, play the chord as we want. So I can just arpeggiate the chord again, or I could just strum it lightly. I can also change the voicing if I want. So I play the E string open. The second chord is a beautiful C major. Now this is indeed such a lovely and beautiful chord. I'm playing the root note C. On the G string I'm playing the fret number 2, which is the note A. On the B string I'm playing the fret number 3, which is the note D. And I'm playing the E string open. So I'm definitely playing the root note and the third of the chord, the note C and E. Then I have the note A, which is the major six, and the note D, which is the major nine. Such a beautiful chord. Now we're gonna play the same arpeggio. But we finish with the C major chord. You know, we don't wanna keep the, color, the, the chords too colorful. We can add a little bit of color and then we can resolve back to the basic chord. strum the strings with the thumb, just make it rhythmic, you don't want to just strum real quick, just slowly arpeggiate the chord. For the B flat major, same, same pattern. And I like to play the B flat major with the E string open as well. And we finish with the uh, Spanish chord. and the A major. Mm -hmm. 
Of course, we can add a lovely melody, uh, you know, variation to the chords. And again, you can come up with a lot of different variations, guys. I'm going to show you the one that I like. And then you can obviously, you know, change it up a little bit and spice things up as much as you want. So we have the same arpeggio. C. B flat. So we have the same arpeggio. And this beautiful melody in thirds. So I'm playing on the B and the E string, the fret number six and five. And then the fret number eight and six back. And then I'm playing uh, five and three and I'm switching to pinky and finger one. And then three and one. And the reason why I switch uh, to pinky is because after these, we're gonna play the C major, so we have the third finger ready to go. Yeah, and what we can do, we can just RPG the chord and then just strum it lightly. And then we're gonna play the melody. So I'm playing um, always the same thirds on the B and the E string. First one is a fret, fret one and open. And then I have three and one, and five and three, three and one, and back to one and zero. Now for the B flat major chord. We have a beautiful, beautiful melody. We arpeggiate the chord. And then we have the melody on the G and the B string, fret number three is already there. And then we play the B and the E string, we don't change the position. And then we add the fret number one on the E string, back to the E string open, and back to the G and the B string. Such a beautiful melody. And then we finish with the um, Spanish chord and we have a lot of different variations here I mean we could do um, you know we can go from the uh, B flat major chord down to the A major but we can also just move one voice So we're gonna keep this flat nine here um, to make it even more Spanish, to add even more tension to the chord. But, you know, we can play the A major, regular A major chord. And then, I'm playing this beautiful uh, harmonic minor scale, starting um, with the note A on the G string for number two and three, and then the B string for number two and three. E string open, one and three. It's a lovely approach. It's a little bit more challenging because we have the chord and then the melody. Now we'll play the D minor chord right in this position. It's just the seven, six, and five. It's just a, a beautiful triad. The finger picking pattern is thumb and ring, middle, and index. And then we do it again. Then the bass, and then the melody. We're using the D minor scale. So I'm playing six and, um, six and eight, and then the front number five and six. A quick hammer on and pull off on the fret five and six. And back to the fret number eight. And we finish on fret number five. Now for the next chord, the uh, C major we're gonna play here. It's a beautiful chord just to 
notes on fret number eight and eight on the B string. And then the G and the E string. I'm playing with thumb and middle, then index, and then the ring. And then the melody. Which is way easier than the previous one. The B flat major chord We'll have the same chord shape as the C, so we bring it back to fret number 6. And then the melody. It's kind of the same musical idea starting on fret number 6. And we finish with this beautiful A uh, sus 4. So it's fret number 7 and 5 and I'm plucking the A string and the B string, and then the G string, and then the E string. And we finish with the fret number six, and then we play this beautiful phrase. Again, it's a beautiful harmonic minor scale, starting on the G string, fret number six and seven, and on the B string, fret number five, six, seven, and on the E string, fret number five, and fret number nine. Now we can finish the chord progression with these same chords. We're just gonna play them like this. It's just a D minor chord on fret number 10, on the G and the E string. The C major chord is played like this with fret number 10, 9, and 8. You could actually play the D minor with the finger 3 and 4. Then the B flat major on fret 8, 7, and 6. And the A major chord, just one fret back. And we finish with this lovelier pager.